I'm Harry Art, Rotorua, New Zealand. I like to fiddle in my garage and making some sort of things. So I came up with the idea of making an incubator with water on top. So the first test was I just had a cushion, had just four legs to try it out. And I had a small aquarium or container where that's just like an aquarium. The water was 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So then I had, here are the eggs, then I had a wine bag. Put it on top and have this one in my fish tank and the water being pumped through here and back. So that was my first one try and it, I was amazed how good it was. So I think okay, there we go, we make a uh, little bit more a professional one. So you see here in my box, 400 by 300 and inside 150 millimeters. This is my uh, regulator. So, open it up. So this is the inside of the box. I have two compartments, small one and a bigger one. The small one is for my uh, gear, and this one is, I call it the nest. I can make the nest bigger or smaller, and I <coughs> can make it deeper or, or higher up or whatever. You can build something in, something like that. But yeah, okay. I made also a hole here that I can put my thermal motor in and it's just sitting on the foam. The foam is 40 millimeter high and this piece of wood here is 50 millimeters high and that uh, compartment is 90 millimeters. In that compartment there, I have a piece of glass, good thick one, I put the regulator on, the heater on, and the pump, that's all in here. Here you see, I had a bag for 900 by 500, and 5 mi micron thick, hopefully you can see something in here. There's all my gear in there, you see? <coughs> so it's... That bag, there's no bottom in it. I have cut it off, the bottom. Mark here already, where that piece of glass with all the stuff is glued on by a uh, silicon kit. So then you have one unit. And one unit. Also the sack is squeezed together with an aluminium piece. So more or less the sack squeezed together on that side. And the wires coming out here. So, uh, the bag needs two and a half liters to three liters of water. When I let it down, when the water is in, let it down, when the eggs are in, the level of the water will be 20 millimeters on top of the eggs. So, more or less, the water is heated up and pumped over the eggs the whole time. And this can hang just outside and you can close it. So when you have to turn the eggs, you lift this one up, turn the eggs, back again, and that sort of thing. <coughs> you, <coughs> I do that all the time, in the morning and in the evening. Turn them, and also I, after the fourth day, I give them uh, a 
I'll leave it open the fourth day, four minutes, five minutes the fifth day, the sixth day, six, and we'll keep going every day one minute longer. So more or less just like a chicken that goes, goes off the nest to have and feed, you see. And for moisture, I can use uh, spray a little bit on the foam, or you spray a little bit on, on this one. I have filled it up with uh, wood shavings, and I can open it up on this side. You can make a big one, then you don't need uh, the foam and that stuff. But there are many ways to roam, as I'm always saying. So, <coughs> so the, when it's time to hatch, then I have this one on top of my nest, so that I keep the eggs free from this back. You see? Also, the chicken have a sharp point on the bee, on the top bee, and they can poke perhaps on uh, the plastic bag. It never happens to me, but could could be. So this one has to be just a little bit that the eggs are free from this one. So then they can hatch. So the temperature, uh, the moisture contents, you can weigh your eggs the whole lot on a uh, kitchen scale. And then you weigh them every day or second day and see how it goes down, the weight. Uh, the eggs has to 13% uh, less waste in the whole sequence. Another thing is you can use this one, you see? Kitchen stuff, I think it is. Have this one on top when they hatch. You see, and then this one over. Uh, I think that's more or less what it is. Hopefully, uh, you enjoy it, what I'm doing. Perhaps you can make it the same. I have a drawing, and I will put it on the, on the end of this one. Okay, dokie. So later on I have a few eggs and we'll put them in here and then put water in and you will see how it runs. Thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, I have done it a few times, uh, three times I think, and all the eggs that I'm, all the eggs that have been in here, they, when they were fertile, they all has been hatched. So I'm not missing yet one egg. So now you can see how the water flows over my nest in my water bed incubator. So I open the bag so you look into the bag towards the small compartment where my heater and pump and all that stuff is in. And you see the circulation. So that's how it is, you see. Um, bam bam, that's it. So I go closing the back. You see, when you have to turn the eggs, you lift this one up, turn your eggs and let them go. You see? So I do it always the bottom part, I hold. You'll see the center line a little bit here, that's, then let it nicely down. And that's more or less what it is. And the rest goes by themselves. See, close it up. That's how it is. There we go now.